Hi Cancer, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. This will go for the week of March 8th uh, through the 15th. Um, thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. Um, thank you to those who already do so. So Cancer, you're supposed to have three cards. Uh, past, present, and future. But you get two cards for the future. Cancer. So, let's see what's going on here. Um, in the past, we had the two of Earth. All right. So, you could have been juggling. Uh, you could have a lot going on. A lot happening all at once. Maybe lots of people, lots of energies. All, you know, hitting you all at once. And it made you confused in some some fashion but it also um, made you just kind of say fuck it all you know I'm gonna I'm gonna pursue every option um, maybe you are or were involved in a love affair like you had two people two real options here you had other people but you had two options two people maybe two jobs anything you like and you were kind of dividing yourself amongst the two um that was in the past cancer let's see uh presently you're the page of earth okay um so you could just be learning something new you could be doing well in school it's going to be good news about your finances coming to you you just want to do something more challenging and um, you're really trying to learn something. I don't know. Sometimes this could be like like being self-taught, uh, learning online or something of that nature. You're really trying to increase your skill set in some fashion here. Um, so this could be a job. You could have two jobs or you, you had to hold two jobs down or because it wasn't enough money with just one. Um, and then you're trying to really put yourself in a place of um, maybe have some financial abundance uh, by way of learning something else, a new skill set. Two of Earth here. Um, the five of fire at the bottom of the deck. It's a lot going on for you, Cancer. Competing goals. Something is bothersome, you know, like um, wanting to finish school, but being in a toxic relationship or being you know no money uh pregnancy in the midst of trying to accomplish one goal anything could be going on here cancer um so just a lot going on um it also could be somebody interfered or you met someone new in your life and they sparked something in you but you already had a situation ship going on or a relationship going on so now it just turned into you kind of juggling between two people. Um, whatever it is, Cancer, you're on the right path. You're on the right foot. You, my foot is itching. My right foot is itching. You're on the right foot. You're on the right path here. You're you're walking on the right path in regards to whatever it is you're doing. Okay. Um, we have the six of water in reverse in the near future in the future the page of air S somebody who you feel like is a soulmate is not talking to you anymore um you're not talking to them something happened here something happened here where there's like a disconnect a breakdown no longer did you or maybe the other person find usefulness or feel like this this relationship this whatever friendship fit in their life um someone has decided not to have an abortion or someone did have no i don't know what that is um someone is also uh yeah, somebody just said, you know what, this is not a healthy situation, relationship, whatever it is. And they cut it off. And they, I think they cut you off without 
giving you proper notice or like a proper explanation like they just they just stopped talking to you someone who you felt like was like just good hearted good soulmate like you just were happy to have found them or have them in your energy let's see what the advice is um, look for a sign cancer and let go yeah you're gonna have to let go Maybe you have to let go of this person. It's funny. At the bottom of the deck, you have romance. So maybe you have more than one person, like I said. Um, so you may, you know, be being romanced by another person. Or you're, you know, having romance with another person. But there's someone very significant. It could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Who just kind of goes cold turkey on you. Like nothing. Zero. Um, it says look look for a sign and let go uh, let's see what this means for my cancers what is the six of water and none of these cups should be reversed none of these none of these cards should be reversed what is the six of water in reverse and the page of air in reverse what is the six of water in reverse Okay, that jumped out. The Hierophant. Um, could also be vice versa. Maybe you cut someone off in the future. The near future this week or within the next coming week. Could be a Taurus person. It could be... You guys don't see eye to eye. It's not a lot of like-mindedness. Maybe you guys don't want the same thing. There could have been a love affair. And somebody said, I'm not going to be involved in this. And, and they got themselves out of it. You or the other person. Um, it could have been drama. And this person needed a bit of... They needed stability. And some uh, a sense of traditionalism. And maybe you or maybe the other person wasn't, you know, supplying that. Yeah, Nine of Swords in the Three of Cups. Yeah, somebody said, somebody found out about this love affair. Or somebody had too much anxiety about you or vice versa, Cancer. You had too much anxiety about somebody else dating other people. It could be you, Cancer. King of Cups at the bottom of the deck. The King of Cups keeps... Sometimes he keeps exes around just to feed the ego. Lots of energy around. Lots of people around. It might not even be that he or she is uh, actively pursuing them or having sex with them or anything of that nature. But just the conversation. Just the, the knowing that if they wanted to go in a certain direction with this person, they could do it. And the King of Cups keeps exes women men if you're a woman or same sex whatever they keep people around just for that um to feed the ego this is a very insecure person sometimes especially in the reverse with these cards here this person can be very insecure they need a lot of validation what they what they deem as validation from a lot of different parties a lot of different people because they have a lot of anxiety within themselves and a lot of insecurity, a lot of mental anguish, not having dealt with certain things, maybe of the past, um, of uh, how they, their upbringing. It just makes them, this is a person who has to go backwards before they can go forward, okay? Um, this could be you, Cancer, like I said, King of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Somebody cuts you off because they they just feel like you're not on their level. You were bringing them anxiety or you have a lot of anxiety about, you know, you keeping so much company. The three of Cups, I don't know. This person just doesn't want involvement. This could be you, Cancer. You feel this way about someone else or vice versa. Someone feels this way about you. They don't want anything to do with it because it's too chaotic for them. It's too hectic. It's too much. Okay. All right, so Cancer, I hope that you have a really good week. Just know you got to let go. Well, I guess that would be really good. What is Cancer letting go of? 
what does cancer have to let go of? What does cancer have to let go of? What is cancer? Wow. Oh, jeez. Um, you have to let go of how things play out. The Wheel of Fortune here. How you got to understand that maybe this is some lucky break or this is you missing an opportunity by way of, you know, um, a blessing in disguise. Um, know that the wheel is turning for everybody. Um, you need to let go of trying to be in control of taking yourself to the next step or the next level or, or being lucky. You're trying to be in control of luck, how you want things to turn out. But it's not like that. Yeah, Page of Wands. Knight of Swords. The Fool. Ten of Wands. Um, Cancer. Jeez. Louise. You need to let... Yeah, it's like you're trying to be in control. Like this is, could be a masculine energy. It doesn't have to be a man, but somebody with a lot of masculine energy. Not fun could be a little immature. Maybe an air sign is four sources saying they don't want anything to do with you, or they just need a break. They could be telling you this, or they cut something off swiftly. They're going in a new direction. They they put, they let something down. They put it down. They don't want anything to do with it right now, even though you guys have a real connection. The two of cups. It's just that in the midst of this connection, it's a lot of drama. It's a lot of people. It's a lot of energy. Somebody's highly insecure. Okay, Aquarius. Uh, I said Aquarius. Wow, you could be dealing. With some, I just did the Aquarius reading. Also, um, you could be dealing with an Aquarius. I don't know. Uh, Cancer. Have a really good week. Let go. Look for a sign. Uh, be anticipating either you cutting somebody off or someone cutting you off okay cancer thank you take care many blessings and know that you can always text a question or two or eight to the number below um you can receive the answer to your question on your mobile device pay for your question on your mobile device it just makes me more accessible to you and you accessible to me you can also go over to the website and book uh I, the special reading, the 15-minute reading there, okay? So thank you, Cancer. Take care, guys.